Hey guys, your electronics fanatic here, and today I'm going to have a video on the electronic dice kit that I put together uh, in that uh, series of videos. And that one was just showing you how to do some basic soldering of a PCB board. Nothing too fancy, just really basic. But you uh, have probably seen a lot of these different uh, kits just out on YouTube and out searching on the internet. There's a lot of different styles to them, but they're all basically the, the same idea. And uh, with this one, what I decided to do was kind of go into some measurements and uh, show you how it all works and uh, understand it a little bit better that way. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with the uh, top left corner here. And uh, what we got here are some uh, capacitors, which I had shown you before, right here and here. And if I remember correctly, let's take a look here. Those were 0.1 microfarad uh, capacitors. And if you just look at the uh, capacitor there, you can see uh, 104. So, yep, that's the correct uh, size there for the capacitor. And uh, this one here in the middle is a voltage regulator. And basically what that does is it converts uh, the 9 volt connection that I have here down to 5 volts. Because what would happen if we connected 9 volts to the, the circuit here is it would uh, uh, cause this uh, microcontroller here to not work anymore. It needs to stay within the 5 volt range in order for it to operate. Otherwise, you know, you, you're going to ruin the microcontroller. So that, that's what that... Uh, that uh, uh, component there is for. Obviously the LEDs most people are familiar with, they know what they are and what they do, it just uh, basically produces a light. And then uh, the uh, resistors here is what uh, reduces the uh, current to uh, a stable amount that will operate with the LED there. And then lastly we have a uh, push button switch here. Now this one is a, a normally open style push switch. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and connect it and uh, from the last video I actually got a, a new 9 volt battery so that it will uh, work a little bit better. We'll go ahead and connect it here and uh, as you can see we've got an LED lit in the center. Now uh, how this I'm gonna kind of measure show you how this all you know works together and how you can understand it a little bit better and I'm gonna use the uh, multimeter here just off to the side to, to show you how it's all functioning working together here now the purpose of what well let's go ahead and start with the uh, the capacitors here and try to understand why we've got two capacitors here in, in between and then the uh, voltage regulator here in between the two capacitors here. So basically what's happening when you're connecting a, a power source to your circuit is the uh, capacitors, uh, well, the capacitors will help to uh, fluctuate the current and the, the, the current going through the circuit. How that works is the uh, voltage regulator, uh, naturally when it uh, is reducing the voltage to a lower uh, power from what's coming into the, the circuit, it creates what's called a, a ripple effect. I can show you that here just on a piece of paper, kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So when you have a DC current, you're always getting a, a basic uh, straight line signal that's going through there. The, the, the power is basically steady and straight. Now what's happening when you uh, are using a voltage regulator is uh, in most cases you get what's called, like I said, a ripple effect where it's doing something like this. And it can be different uh, sizes of the ripple. It's not necessarily always going to look just like this. You know, it could be something really small where you can, you can barely even see it. You know, something like that there. So what's happening or what, what we do to kind of resolve that issue when it comes to the circuit is we put these capacitors in between there and uh, if you look at the back side of the uh, circuit here 
um, you can see how these uh, capacitors on the back. Oops, sorry. Uh, these are the, these are the two capacitors. This one here, this one here, this one here, and this one here. These are the joints that I, I made. But what's what's happening is the capacitors will take in some of the uh, the power and release it once it once it reaches that. Uh, certain capacity it releases that energy and um, what what they've done here is they've connected it through a ground source they've uh, used the ground to connect these two capacitors together here from uh, this side to this side and as you can see here's the uh, voltage regulator here with uh, the voltage coming out or the voltage excuse me going in and then the voltage coming out on this side here and then this is the ground and by connecting uh, these two capacitors down here at ground, what it's doing is it's uh, getting rid of that uh, ripple effect that you will see when uh, you use a voltage regulator to so where it will no longer ripple. And you continue to get this uh, straight line effect here with the DC current. And the purpose of doing that is to uh, keep your components good. Uh, any of your components don't really like a lot of ripple in them. They, uh, you know, it can ruin them and cause them to malfunction. That's just the basic idea and being able to understand how that all, you know, comes together and works that way. So that's why you have those two capacitors there. In the, you know, short terms now that you kind of understand everything, it is to reduce the ripple effect that uh, you get throughout the uh, circuit there to make it so that everything is nice and hunky-dory and you don't have any problems with any of the other components saying, oh, I don't like that ripple, I don't want it, you know, blah, 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 that kind of thing. So, next part is uh, the circuit, the uh, current going through the circuit comes over and uh, wants to go into these uh, LEDs here. So if we flip this back over to the back side so we can kind of see what's going on here. Um, the uh, voltage is coming in there and then going out here at the reduced uh, voltage of 5 volts where it's coming in here at 9 it's leaving out this side at 5 volts and then we have a bunch of uh, lines here and these lines are kind of what are referred to as tracks where the uh, the power is able to run from and connect to other, other components and so as you can see we have some going this way and some coming down here and connecting at uh, different odd end spots now this one goes in here to uh, the uh, microcontroller and then the others run along on this side over here now if I flip this back to the front side you're gonna see that uh, this set of track is actually going and connecting to the resistors and uh, the, the resistors uh, basically reduce the uh, current to make it so that it can power these LEDs because you can't just have any amount of current going through these uh, LEDs otherwise you know it'll burn them up and they won't work so the resistors here reduce the current to a, a level where the LEDs can work properly now back on this side here we see the other one going into the microcontroller and then this is part of what helps uh, regulate the whole uh, opening and closing of these circuits to allow the power to f flow through everything here that's what I want to do is go ahead and uh, measure some of this stuff here so that you can see what's actually going on I'll go ahead and turn on the uh, multimeter here really quick Let's uh, go ahead and start with the uh, up top here at the uh, voltage regulator. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to the uh, left side of the voltage regulator and uh, get a, uh, a current here, well a voltage that you can see what I'm talking about. Okay. You see a voltage coming in of 7.99 volts. Now if you connect it to this side, it should go down to uh, 5. 
see there 5.007 so that's how it's what it's doing is it's re it's taking that 7 volts and um, putting it back down to uh, 5 volts so that it can uh, function properly with the uh, microcontroller so 7.99 again to Five point zero seven, and then that's that's completely normal and a good operation for uh, the rest of the circuit there. Now, if we move over here to the uh, resistors here, sorry about that. Maybe I can uh, zoom in here a little bit and uh, let you see that just a tiny bit better. Now, if I take the uh, probes here and uh, touch the other ones you should be able to see uh, what happens as far as uh, the voltage across those resistors now let me uh, zoom back out so we can uh, take a look at the uh, multimeter here and see that and see what's going on there when you're, when you're probing those okay on that particular one we're not getting anything let's move on to the second one now as you notice there's a reason why there's only going to be one resistor that's working here and that's because we only have one LED on so if we're going to test any of these other resistors there's only going to be one resistor that actually has a voltage going through it so if we test the second one nothing third one that's the one let's see here get it back on there right 2.65 volts. That's what's going through the uh, resistor into that middle LED. Now, if we just look at that one, try to remember where that's at there, that third resistor. We'll flip it around to the back side, and uh, that's one there. That would be that resistor, right? Right there. Now, if you see where the resistor connects the other side, which is uh, right here, and then you follow that trackpad, uh, it actually goes right to this center LED, which uh, corresponds with uh, what we uh, measured here on the other side, that that would indefinitely be the uh, center LED. Now, if you follow, continue to follow that track, you're going to see that it uh, will go and connect to the microcontroller right here on this side. Okay, so now you can see basic and a basic idea of how uh, current is coming from this uh, voltage regulator and going through the resistor and into the uh, LED, and then which uh, from there goes into the microcontroller. Now this particular microcontroller that I have here uh, came pre-programmed with uh, a specific uh, duty that it has with in regards to this circuit. Uh, which is to do random numbers and to imitate a dice being rolled on a table. So if we uh, were to push this uh, uh, circuit switch here, uh, you'll see that the LEDs will switch to a, a different number. And these are supposedly supposed to be all random. So if you switch that, push the switch there like I did, now it has three LEDs lit. Push it again. Two. Five. Five. Six, so you can continue to push this uh, uh, switch here, and it will continue to give you uh, different number readings, uh, just depending on you know how many times you you do the uh, switch. So let's go back to uh, our test of the probing here for the uh, voltage. Now we've got all six LEDs lit here. Well, there's only one that is not lit. So if we go back and test uh, resistor number one up here. We should get a voltage, which we do. If I can uh, get it on there correctly, 2.4. Let's uh, grab another one here. 2.4, zero, and so on and on and on. All the rest of them should come in at 2.4. Now you might be asking, how come it's all the same here? Now the reason for that is because in this circuit they've got them wired up in what's called a parallel uh, circuit. 
there's a series style circuits and there's parallel style circuits and um, because this is set up in a parallel circuit the voltage across all of these resistors is going to be the same as what you saw there so that's just a basic understanding and being able to kind of measure and, and figure out what exactly is going on with this circuit here and uh, if you liked uh, what I was showing here you can uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and you'll be able to see other things that I have planned for the future if you like this one go ahead and uh, like it and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time